So it, it's five o'clock, and you know me that I'm I'm usually very good about uh, starting on time. But we're just going to give another 35 seconds for you know people who are having trouble logging in. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I miss having you tremendously in this class. You have no idea how weird and empty this is. Chem 102, that's what we're teaching. It's four sections. So normally I'd have 200 students in the classroom. I love talking to the students in the lectures, asking them questions, waiting for answers, feeding off of the energy, students talking to each other, talking to me. Today I'm gonna to go in probably 20 minutes before because I have to set up the, uh, the conference call and then it's gonna be me alone in a room. It's set up great, and it seems that we have everything we need, but we're only gonna know how it's gonna work when we actually try to get 200 people onto, a, onto one teleconference call and try to teach them all at once. We're gonna to try to do this as normally as we can, as if you were here. Um, if something goes wrong, um, yell at me. Of course, I won't hear you because you're not here. But, you know, just uh, we'll, we'll do our best. This is one of my first experiences taking online chemistry, essentially. And, you know, questions can still be asked, but it just doesn't feel the same as being in a classroom as well. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue with our discussion of acids and bases. So the plan for today is to talk about how structure affects the strength of acids and bases and then move on to talk about salts. If you can't hear anything, you have to join the audio, but stay muted. You should be able to hear. Can you hear now? Well, of course, they can't hear me. They can't hear what I told them to do. So take your time and uh, I'll give you about a minute to think through this, write down some balanced equations, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. This is where I'd normally walk up and down the, the aisles, like, how's it going? How you doing? It's going great. Oh, it's good. It's, it's nice, you know? Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Nice to see you. What, what are our other options? We're not gonna cancel the semester. We can't put our lives on hold. And one of the things we can do is learn. I think learning you can do, you know, sheltering in place, quarantined. We can learn and we can teach. I think that we need to try to be normal as much as we can. And that means learning chemistry. What kind of solutions would have an answer of one or two in a word? Acid, acidic, very good, excellent. I was really worried that this wasn't gonna be interactive, but uh, you're all doing a great job. Thank you so much. Professor Abrams is known for being enthusiastic. He's very loud, you know, but that's part of his teaching style, which me and a lot of other students like. And so it's good that even though we're all spread out and he's probably talking to a camera on like a computer or something right now, he still has that same energy. It simulates what it would feel like if we were to still be inside 109. Thank you all so much for your hard work today. Miss you all. Look forward to seeing you on Thursday and stop by office hours so we can chat. We're all in this together. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful night or morning or afternoon. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. Good night. Bye. Okay. Guess I'm done. We never know how we're gonna respond as people and as, as communities until such time as we're, we're dealt a hand like this, until we have some sort of tragedy or some sort of chaos that we have to respond to. And I think that to, to our students' credits and to the administration's credit, we're all working hard to make sure that everybody can get the best outcomes possible. We're not gonna be able to accomplish everything, but we're gonna make sure that our students are supported and we are gonna get through this and then we're gonna move forward stronger because of it.